field, taken and won there. Stephen Cohen, one to chase after over there for Ryan O'Donoghue. The defending has to be disciplined. There was a push, however, by Kean Murphy, and it's going to be a free in. An opportunity for Mayo late on here to win this match. Wasn't a great deal in that. There wasn't, but but there was the push there. Surprise, he done it like Ryan O'Donoghue was looking that push. He sort of bent down. There was the wee slowing up, taking it short now. They've gone short across as far as Fergal Boland, and Boland hits it over the bar. Mayo lead, Fergal Boland. Didn't play last year. He's back here. He got three points last Sunday against Galway. He's kicked one here. It may well be the winner with almost four minutes gone of stoppage time. And it's Mayo 112, Dublin 14 points. Dublin maybe with one more chance. Brian Fenton challenged there by Jack Carney. And the referee has called the ball and called blown his whistle. And it's all over. And Mayo have beaten Dublin at McHale Park for the first time in some 12 years. It was a late, late winner by Fergal Boland. And the McGinley, did they deserve to win it after all of that? It's hard to believe that they have because Dublin, for me, probably played the better football for the majority. The goal came against the run of play and was fortuitous in the way it came about. But look, they stood at, they stuck at their task. They managed to get the scores at the end. They, they played clever, they punched clever, they ran at the Dublin defence and pulled the freeze. That pulled them into the game. Uh, and they won at the end. <laughs> the reaction of the Mayo supporters to that final whistle, they're running onto the pitch. We were just reminding ourselves, second round of the league. It's the it's second a, round of the league. It's only the second round of the league, but the Dubs have been beaten for the second time. Mayo with two wins, and the final score here reads Mayo, one goal and 12 points, 15 points, Dublin 14, Mayo...